Hey guys, welcome to Cook with Nancy. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this beautiful and delicious Kabuli Pulao. It's also known as Afghani Pulao. It's super delicious and very easy to make and very few ingredients you will have this delicious recipe in your home. Here to start off I have a large pot. To this I'm adding two large onion that is sliced and then I'm going to saute this until it nicely caramelizes and gets this gets into this dark deep brown. Just as you can see it's nicely caramelized. At this point what we are going to do is add some water. Here I have one cup of water at this point. I'm going to add one cup and just scrape down any sides, any bits and uh, browns and then mix them well. And once it comes to a boil then we are going to go ahead and add the lamb shanks. So here I'm using full two lamb shanks, large one. But if you want to cut them into pieces, you can definitely do that. There is no problem. But the full lamb shanks is going to cook through and then it's going to, um, bone is going to separate from the meat. So I'm going to add the whole thing. Here I have one tablespoon ginger paste and one tablespoon garlic paste. I'm going to add that and mix it for a couple seconds till the raw aroma leaves. Now once that is done, I'm going to add four to five cups of water depending on how much lamb you have. Uh, we are going to cook this on a medium low heat until the meat is nice and soft and uh, fall apart from the bone. To this I have also added salt and then go ahead and cook it until the meat is super tender. Now I am going to remove the meat and set it aside and now the stock, the lamb stock we are going to reduce into half. Once that is reduced keep it aside for later purpose. Here I have 2 tablespoon oil in a pan. To this I have added 3 to 4 large carrots that are cut into small strips uh, you can use thinner you can use medium size strip that's okay to this i've added also raisins dark raisins quarter cup and 10 almonds that's have soaked overnight and peel the skin off just go ahead and saute this on medium heat until it's just nice tenderizers it's nicely tenderized and to this i've added one teaspoon cardamom powder if you want to add sugar you can go ahead and add sugar as well but i'm going to skip that and set it aside while we prepare the caramelized and the other stuff. Here I have in a pan 2 tablespoons sugar. Once you see the caramelized, the brown color, I'm going to go ahead and add the stock, the lamb stock that we prepared earlier. We are going to add that to the sugar to get more color. Now to this I've added 1 tablespoon cardamom powder and 1 teaspoon garam masala. Go ahead and mix them and set it aside. Now the next preparation is the rice. Here I have basmati rice. I've had Two cups and I've soaked it for 15 minutes and we are going to parboil it for 90%. Once the rice is cooked for 90%, I'm going to drain the water and put this in a bowl, in a in a pan that we are going to cook the finish the rice off. Now here I'm going to add the lamb stock that we prepared and go ahead and add the lamb shanks that we prepared earlier that we set it aside and add all the juices, anything that is left behind. Now I'm going to add the carrot and the uh, raisins mixture and any juice left over go ahead and add that on top of the lamb so that it still stays moist and I'm going to cook them on a dam so that means I'm going to put the kitchen towel and cover it so that it's airtight and then we are going to cook this for 30 minutes on a low heat and once you finish cooking that on a low heat you can serve this rice as it is and it's super delicious you don't need anything the flavor is so beautiful it's less ingredients but yet it's super delicious i hope you enjoy watching this video if you have any questions let me know i will see you soon in my next video till then take care guys bye